flown down the river. We had caught fish all day. We're floating. We're hitting the water so hard with like heavy wood buggers over and over again with like split shot, huge split shot, thick leaders, like odd X leaders. Like I said, we've gone about three hours. The first day was out on sand. Three hours and it caught anything. How are we doing so far? Pretty shitty. Pretty, pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah, why is that? Well, because we haven't caught anything. And we've only got one bump from a pretty small fish. And that's the only fish we've seen all day other than suckers. It's this, this, one, this one pool that's pretty nondescript. It's got nothing, no, nothing great about it. And I decided to cast like towards the shore, like right behind like a small rock that was behind a large rock. So it was like dead calm water. And I cast it right behind the rock. I hooked into something, but it felt like it was so. It was such a slow strike that it felt like that I was just snagged on something. So I didn't think anything of it. But all of a sudden, the snag or whatever it starts turning, and starts coming downstream, and I'm standing like standing on top of the the bolt, like just looking looking down at it. And it's coming right under the bolt, and I, I didn't, it's a sort of never seen a really a bull trout that big. So I, I thought it was like a sucker. Connor's like sitting behind me laughing at me. He's like, oh, it's a sucker, it's a sucker. And I'm like looking at this thing and I'm like, whatever it is, man, it's freaking huge. Like, if this is the biggest sucker I've ever seen, if it is a sucker. So right when it came, it was about right underneath me. It was clear, clear water, the Blackfoot, so I could see it, but I really couldn't tell. And all of a sudden, the thing just takes off downstream. And that's when Connor and I kind of just like knew that it was definitely not a sucker. It was a big bull trout. Connor's like, I think that's a big bull, man. And that thing went straight down in the current, dumped straight out of the boat, pull it in, and I'm pulling it in. And this thing is, now I know how big this thing is. And I'm pretty much freaking out. Connor grabbed the camera and took a couple pictures of that thing. And then bull trout are endangered species in America. so. Did my best to put it back pretty quickly and revive it. And that was a travel for like almost a lifetime, you know. And I had been fishing for a month straight at that point. Like literally every single day, I fished. I fished the Cape. I fished Connecticut. I came home for a day and I fished that day. Caught a striper. Went straight to Montana. And it was like 20 plus days straight where I'm fishing. And that was what I call a grinder's gift. <laughs> a grinder's gift because I really grinded it out.